it's Anna Vaughn with Travel Mama Anna Vaughn and in the last video in Spanish I told you all about the bullshit here in the town that I live in and the state that I live in and in this video I'm going to take you through and show you some of the really cool shit about my town because I love this town, I love this state and I love this country and even though they are totally fucking with us here right now you know having said all that because we are a town of lovers there's a lot of really cool shit going on. So strap in if you like this video, like it, share it, subscribe and hit the bell. And this week I'm gonna show you all the really nice community stuff that's happening as a result of not being allowed to do shit around here and being controlled and prevented for a virus that doesn't exist in my town. Again, we've had zero cases in six weeks. We are legally allowed to open as of May 18th. Right now it is the second week in June and we are still closed with no signs of any kind of opening happening anytime soon. But we're still allowed to do shit in our homes and today I invited everybody over to swim here. So day one, I'm gonna show you a bunch more. Strap in, here we go. I made snacks, but everybody ate my snacks already. Mm, snacks and Leanne's here. Talking about the chisme with me. Hell yeah. That's my seed over there. What do you want? Para Ale. Oh. M mommy? Yeah. Can I. Oh, we are all having a pizza party. Hola, ready. <laughs> Yo quiero un snack. Yeah, Ali. Boom. Boom. Okay, that was crazy. There was a lot of kids, a lot of parents, a lot of everything. And now I'm gonna take Ale home to her mom. See, ya lista? Ale, ya lista? Yeah. Ready to go. Oh, it's the next day. It's the weekend. It's Friday, and um, the beaches here are closed. You're not, allowed, you're not allowed to do anything right now. It's really, really bad. But um, they did open some beaches for surfers because they were getting in a lot of fights with cops to go between 6 and 9 a.m. And so one beach is swimmable out of all of them. The rest are all too dangerous to swim in. And mom is gonna take Luna to school. It's 8.30, I got a half hour to go jump in the ocean. And I'm pretty fucking excited. It's been since February. I know for people like in other countries, I'm sure this is like a bougie thing to you, but for people living at the beach, like we're really reliant on the beach because there's no parks here, there's no theaters, there's no art shows, there's, there's nothing else to do except go to the beach. So without it, it's like the center of, of exercise, of you know time off, of everything. It's like having absolutely no access to any parks. It's, it's been really hard and we haven't had the access since end of March and there's no reason for it there's obviously no coronavirus in the ocean um, and nobody's part like we just want to go for a swim and we can't we can't bring our kids to the beach can't do shit right now so I'm gonna go get my half hour in and take what I can get here we are and everybody else is here too Too nice to see so many people out. Yay! Like lots of people are out. Obviously, all the fishermen are out, but people are walking along the beach and just like enjoying themselves. Que rico! Cops, they're here telling people that they need to leave. Oh, here they come. Oh, see? There they are. The two old guys keeping the... That police officer came over and asked me why I was filming him. I told him it was for my Instagram and it was the beach. 
Anyway, those two old guys are keeping the peace over there. I'm pretty sure I'm walking through raw sewage right now, but it was worth it. It was actually really nice to see people out and just see people just doing normal things, just enjoying their lives together, just being, just being in town together. It was really nice. It was nice to just like feel that feeling again. Anywho, 23rd of June. Animal is supposed to open them up. I hope everybody goes to the beach. I hope the state doesn't fuck with us and create all these rules that make it impossible to enjoy ourselves at the beach. It's really hard to live near the water as a human being and not go in it because it's our animal right. Anyway, that was worth it, even though I ate a lot of water. One of the, look at my nasty gate. Should have never painted it. Anyway, one of the final things we're doing today is I'm going to get a pedicure. You can still get pedicures, Botox, massage, all that stuff here. You just can't take your kids to the beach or to pay your bills. So none of it makes any sense, but I'm trying to do a like take care of you day. And I'm becoming like some kind of vulture with my toenails. So here we go to the pedicure spot. Here we are at the salon. So the only rule is that you have to wear a mask inside and the inspectors do come around and harass business owners. So I bought this paper one today that you can breathe a bit better in. Cause I actually think the masks are really bad for your health. Um, so I never wear one unless I have to. But Jessica who owns this place is a friend of mine and I don't want her to get a fine. So obviously at the Punta Vida Spa, I'm gonna wear one. I'm gonna get my toes done. Weird, but it is what it is. You're so dirty, it's unbelievable. Okay, so this is the end of the video. It's the end of the video. Oh, my friend Chema's here from the city. We're ending off with this, with a little sunset beverage. If you like this video, like Chilas. it. Share it. Chilas. Subscribe, hit the bell. And Vizcal. <laughs>